Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a quick overview of the SimBrief dispatch tool that was released for MSFS. So I'll not waste any of your time in terms of install. You will probably be prompted with a Navigraph Simulink update. So make sure you update that and when you open Navigraph Hub, you will see an option here which says Navigraph uh, SimBrief dispatch for MSFS. So make sure that you install that and also meanwhile if you have an ARAC cycle update make sure you do that as well. So once you do that and once you hop into the sim you will uh, you will see this sim brief option now in the in the world map section. So how I would use this is I would first select the aircraft that I want to fly so that that is out of the way. So today we are going to fly the A320 CFM and then I would hit sim brief you will be prompted to sign in you can either sign in by your uh, qr code or whatever you just sign in with google or whatever but it's very easy just sign in and then uh, what i would do is just click on new flight and that would give me the exact menu that i usually pull up on the simbrief website which is amazing now i don't have to pull up anything on chrome or any other app just it's all integrated in here. So I would put in the flight that I'm flying. Usually I just put in the airline flight number, departure, arrival is going to be KORD today. And then the next thing you need to select is the aircraft. So we know we are flying the A320-200 and we are flying the CFM version today. So I think that's pretty much it it's going to select everything just like it does online it's just that it's now integrated in here but yeah that's pretty much it and then you hit generate flight so that's going to build the maps and build your flight plan and everything and then this is the fun part look at this there's an option to import this flight plan directly into the sim which was never possible before i think you had to go through the whole file download and then upload and whatnot i i don't think this was possible before so as soon as you hit import into sim, it says that importing flight plan, please do not interact with the simulator. So I would advise not to click on anything and mess around until it's done completely importing because it's doing some background processes to transfer um, um, this thing between the softwares. So it says import has finished. So that is good. Now the next thing is you can click on view PDF and that will tell you that it's going to open the PDF in the web browser. Amazing. You can hit continue and that will open up your flight plan PDF, which you can um, leave it on the second screen or wherever. Right. And then the fun part is even if you're flying on VATSIM or any other network, you can just hit pre-file here. Again, it's going to open up the necessary website for you for example i clicked on vatsim so it opened up the vatsim uh, web page for me where i can pre-file my flight plan so that's amazing it's going to do also the ifps validate i think it validates the flight plan with euro control yeah it tells you whether it's valid or not anyway i don't understand it that much but yeah you can validate your flight plan you can also do your takeoff performance and uh, landing performance right here but then more on that later then you have the saved flights here you have the saved airframes here in case you want access to that you also have weather and no temps so you can also look up um, whether if you just put in the icao code so let's say i put in the icao code for iah that's going to show me the meta report the taf everything that you need beautiful this is amazing it's so good to have all of this in sim not having to open anything else with it. So weather and no times, you also have performance and tools, uh, all of this, you know, takeoff performance, landing performance, all of that fun stuff. And you also have a nice little user guide if you really want to go through all of that. So that's the whole menu that you have access to here. Now, I think we are done with the sim brief part of it. So we already have the flight plan um, generated and loaded in. We have the PDF on the left monitor you can close that out and you will see that the whole flight plan with all your waypoints the SID everything is imported right here now the next thing I would do is just make sure that I select the gate that I want to spawn at so I'm going to select a26 that's where we are spawning set that as departure it will zoom out but just make sure you zoom in and confirm that the green dot shows up on the gate where you want to really spawn 
just to make sure that you're not spawning somewhere else. And then you hit fly and it should load up pretty quick. All right, so we have loaded in now. You hit ready to fly and we have a lot of rain going on here at IAH. So it's going to be a fun flight uh, and everything shut down. Anyway, so the same thing again, if you look up the top menu here, you will see uh, you will see a sim brief dispatch option right there. So the whole menu that you pulled up in the world map section, you can also pull all of that up here and you can do your um, takeoff and landing performance calculations right here in the sim without having to get out of it at all. And then just like normal, you would go to Phoenix page and tap import sim brief, same thing, same exact same way it works on the PMDG 7s, 3.7s, 777s, um, everything. So yeah, that's pretty much the dispatch tool for you. I hope you like this quick guide. And uh, like I always say, I'll not waste your time. Please make sure that you like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it also helps my motivation to uh, make these videos for you guys. Thanks a lot again for watching and I will see you on the next one.